Hey, it's Sam from Dan Talk, Real Talk, Let's Talk. So today you'll notice I have no makeup on. I'm going to get down to the bare facts here and we're gonna talk about reality. No makeup, no jewelry, nothing to cover up or to enhance or to you know make you look at something but me. And the reason is because it's time that we all look at ourselves. What is it? Who are we? Can we do it? I had a conversation with a woman today who was telling me that uh, her husband told her she wasn't good in bed and it caused uh, great distress for her. Uh, they've since uh, split up and are going to divorce and now she's trying to date and that rings in her head all the time that you're not good in bed. Well, what does that mean? So to me, um, sex is like being on a professional hockey team. You play as a team, you win as a team, you lose as, your team, as a team. That's it, that's all. There is no reason for anything to stop you from being who you are except you. If you allow anyone to define you other than you, then you're giving them power that they don't deserve and you're turning over something that you shouldn't. There is no reason at all to understand nonsense like you're no good in bed. What does that mean? Did you fall out of the bed? Did you do something wrong? Sex is a spur of the moment or planned or whatever activity or however you want to call it that consists of two consenting adults making love, fucking, or getting it on, however you want to call it. This is why today I said that's it. I'm going to show everything the way it is. Let's get down to the basics. Let's focus on the reality of life and let's realize this. No one has a right to tell you anything at all that isn't true. No one has a right to define you by giving you a grade. Uh, we're not in school here now. It's different when you're in school. Teachers give you a grade based on the stuff you do that is tangible, logical, and specific. Being not good in bed is not specific. What, I didn't suck your cock well, I didn't do it well, I had problems getting it down my throat. What does that mean? I couldn't keep my legs over my head for like an hour and a half because you know what, I'm not 25 anymore? That sucks. But at the end of the day, what really sucks is that people mind fuck people, they get away with it because we allow it. I know women who've done it to men. Quite frankly, shame on you. Shame on all of us, but here's the reality. Don't listen. Uh, don't listen to idiots because there's a lot of them everywhere. Try your best. Understand what does work for you, what doesn't work for you, and then get better at it. You know what? You get better at something by doing it more often. You don't fear it. You don't let people define you by telling you stupidity. And above all, be true to yourself. <coughs> now, <coughs> That can be a hard thing to do, but that's something that I tax all of us, including myself, to do so that going forward, you won't have to see me without makeup. Diane from Dan Talk, Real Talk, Real Talk. Trust you, be you, know you, and love you. I do. Bye, guys.